children we were studying lesson number 7 bones and muscles what we are going to study in this lesson we are going to study about the skeletal system parts of skeleton the skull the backbone the ribs we are also going to study about the limbs joints various types of joints hinge joint ball and socket joint pivot joint gliding joint the muscular system kinds of muscles children we have already discussed about various organ systems present in the human body now what is the organ system we know that the organs do not work alone various organs are present in the human body like the heart the brain the spinal cord the blood vessels etc now we know that the organs do not work alone when few organs work together to perform a major function they form an organ system now we have discussed in detail about various organ systems present in the body like the circulatory system respiratory system muscular system skeletal system etc so you have to learn about various organ systems about the organs which make up the organ system also the function of various organ systems now what is the skeletal system all the bones in our body form a framework called the skeleton now what is the function of the skeleton the skeleton is made up of bones the function of the skeleton is the skeleton protects the delicate organs inside the body it protects the body from collapsing it gives shape and strength to the body right now this is about the skeletal system the skeletal system is made up of bones in the previous session we saw the picture of the skeleton means it consists of all the or all, all the bones which are present in our body we saw that the body contains various different kinds of bones some bones are very small the few bones are very large right we also discussed that the bones are made up of calcium from the outside the bones are tough and strong but inside the bone is a jelly like substance what is it called yes that is called as bone marrow so have a look at this picture there are two statements written about the picture you have to guess which statement is correct about the picture now let us see the statements the first one is this picture shows inside of bone and bone marrow second one is this picture this is a picture of a bone repairing itself we discuss that the bone is living bones are living and it can mend themselves if broken right now what do you think children which statement is correct about this picture the first statement is correct this picture shows inside of a bone here and this is the bone marrow right now we are going to discuss about the parts of the skeleton the skeleton is made up of three main parts that is the skull the backbone and the 
ribs now children here in this picture we can see the three main parts of the skeleton the first picture is the picture of the skull second picture is of the backbone and the third one is the picture of ribs now you know that the skull protects the brain the backbone protects the delicate spinal cord and the ribs protect the heart and the lungs if you can see the picture children we have also discussed that the bones in the skull are flat and rounded the bones in the ribs are thin and rounded now in this skull if you can see in the picture the skull contains the hole for the eye hole for nose teeth it also contains hole for ear and backbone and this is the lower jaw bone the backbone consists of 33 small bones called as vertebra and the ribs contain thin and rounded bones in the middle of the ribs here is the breast bone which is known as sternum now let us discuss in detail about the skull the bones in your head make up the skull and what kind of bones are there right the bones are flat and rounded it protects the brain we know that the skull protects the brain the skull is made up of 22 bones that are joined together the upper part of skull is made of 8 bones and the face is made up of 14 bones the lower jaw bone is the only moving bone in the skull so here we discussed about the skull about the bones present in the skull so how many bones are present in the skull children the skull is made up of 22 bones the upper part contains 8 bones and the face is made up of 14 bones now this is the picture of the backbone the backbone is also known as spinal cord the backbone has 33 small bones called the vertebrae vertebrae is the plural of the vertebra when we take a single bone that single bone is known as vertebra and the 33 small bones or the plural of the bone is called as vertebrae now this 33 vertebrae join together to form the backbone it is also called the spine or the vertebral column each vertebra has a hole in it through which the delicate spinal cord passes the vertebral column thus protects the spinal cord then we were discussing about the parts of the skeleton that is the skull the backbone and the ribs right now we have discussed about the skull the bones which are present in the skull about the backbone now we are going to discuss about the ribs or the rib cage in this picture can you see the rib cage now it forms like a cage it looks like a cage right so we have discussed that the ribs are thin flat and curved the bones which are present in the ribs are thin flat and curved it, it is visible in the picture right that form a cage around the heart 
and lungs to protect them. We know that the skeletal system protects the internal organs, delicate internal organs. The rib cage protects the heart and the lungs. Now, there are 12 pair of ribs in the rib cage. They are attached to the backbone at the back. And in the front, they are attached to a bone that is known as breast bone or sternum. Here, this is the breast bone or sternum. In the front, the ribs are attached to the breast bone and at the back, they are attached to the backbone. In this way, they form a cage-like structure. The ten, first 10 pairs are attached to the sternum in the front and the last two pair are not attached to the sternum and are called as floating ribs. Here, it is visible in the picture. Can you see that children? So, the rib cage is made up of 12 pair of ribs. How many pairs? 12, right? And the first 10 pairs are attached to the backbone at the back and in the front it is attached to the breast bone or the sternum. And the last two pairs are not attached to the sternum and are called as floating ribs. And which organs are protected inside the rib cage? Right. The rib cage protects the heart and the lungs. So, we discussed about the skull, the rib cage and the backbone. And that is, these are the parts of skeletal system or our skeleton. Now, we are going to study or discuss about the limbs. Children, we know that the hands and legs are called as our limbs. The hands are called as four limbs and the legs are called as hind limbs. We have already discussed that the body contains different kind of bones. Now children, in this picture of human skeleton, it is clearly visible that the bones which are present in the hand and leg are quite long. Isn't it children? Now, the bones of lower limbs are attached to hip bone. If here it is This is the hip bone. So the bones of lower limbs are attached to the hip bone and the bones or of upper limbs are attached to the shoulder blades. The upper half of the leg has a long bone called the femur. That is the longest bone in the body. The thigh bone. This is the thigh bone or femur, it is the longest bone in the body. The upper arm has one long bone called humerus. Now, the lower arm has two long bones. See here. So, the lower arm has two long bones. The wrist and hands have several small bones. See here, the hands consist of several small bones. In the leg children, if you can see below the knee, this is the knee, right? Below the knee, it consists of two bones. One is shin bone and another one is calf bone. And the toe consists of various small bones. Bones, right? So, 
what do you know about the bones of our limbs that is the bones of our hands and legs they are longer compared to other bones present in the body right now the longest bone in our body is the thigh bone which is called as femur right and the hand and the legs contains long bones behind below the knees the leg contain two bones one is shin bone another is calf bone and the fingers in the hand and toes in the leg consists of various small bones now can you tell me which is the longest bone in our body the thigh bone or the femur is the longest bone in our body so children today we discussed in detail about the skeleton system about the skeletal system about various parts of the skeleton that is skull here about the ribs and about the backbone which is present here behind we also discussed in detail about the bones present in our limbs we are going to end this session here sayda